let us discuss about positioning of type 2 single pass proteins the endoplasmic reticulum membrane or er membrane has a translocon in opened state the ribosome of ats type and nascent polypeptide chain then associate with the open translocon the nascent polypeptide chain has the signal anchor sequence this signal anchor sequence is located at the c terminus of the nascent polypeptide chain the nature of this signal anchor sequence is hydrophobic after the signal anchor sequence is synthesized on the cytosolic ribosome it is bound to an srp or signal recognition particle this srp directs the ribosome nascent chain complex to the er membrane the signal anchor sequence in the type 2 single pass proteins directs the protein to be inserted into the er membrane so we can say that the signal anchor sequence in type 2 single pass proteins acts as an er signal sequence as a result of signal anchor sequence directed insertion of nascent polypeptide chain into the er membrane the end terminus of the nascent polypeptide chain faces the cytosol it is believed that this orientation of nascent polypeptide chain is due to the positively charged amino acids these positively charged amino acids are located n terminal to the signal anchor sequence as the polypeptide chain is elongated it is extruded into the er lumen and also the signal anchor sequence moves laterally out of the translocon and anchor the polypeptide chain in the phospholipid bilayer so we can say that the signal anchor sequence also acts as membrane anchor sequence once the protein synthesis is completed the c terminus of the polypeptide chain is released into the er lumen and also the ribosomal subunits are released into the cytosol the example of type 2 single pass protein is neuraminidase it is present in the surface coat of influenza virus in neuraminidase three arginine amino acids are located just n terminal to the signal anchor sequence now we will discuss about the positioning of type 3 single pass proteins the er membrane has an translocon in opened state the ribosome of ats type and nascent polypeptide chain then associate with the open translocon near the end terminus of nascent polypeptide chain the signal anchor sequence is located the signal anchor sequence in the type 3 single pass protein prevents further extrusion of the nascent polypeptide chain into the er lumen like a stop transfer sequence in type 1 single pass proteins the signal anchor sequence is hydrophobic in nature on the c terminal side of signal anchor sequence some positively charged amino acids are present due to the presence of these positively charged amino acids the transmembrane segment of the nascent polypeptide chain locates itself within the translocon and also the c terminal portion of the nascent polypeptide chain is oriented to the cytosol whereas the end terminal portion of the nascent polypeptide chain is oriented to the er lumen after some time we can see that the c terminal portion of the polypeptide chain is elongated the signal anchor sequence moves laterally between translocon subunits and becomes 
anchored in the phospholipid bilayer. At this time, the translocon probably closes. In the cytosol, when the C-terminal portion of the polypeptide chain is fully elongated, the ribosomal subunits are released, leaving behind an inserted, fully formed type 3 single pass protein. Here, we can see that the C terminus of the fully formed type 3 single pass protein is present in the cytosol, whereas the N terminus of the same type 3 single pass protein is present in the ER lumen. Please like, subscribe, and share.